we let's talk about Chad Henney. What? Why don't we? Because talk about a turning point. <laughs> yeah, Chad Henney was a turning point. I believe he was what six for eight on mm-hmm. passing, um, which you don't ask a whole lot from him in that department. Yeah. But him being able to really turn around and hand the ball off to Daryl Williams is really all you needed him to do, especially when they're trying to kill the clock. Essentially, I know that's not the conventional play style we like when Patrick Mahomes is in the game, but that's what they had to turn to. Mm-hmm. But I want to say something, too. Andy Reid didn't change the play on the fourth down and one. He would have ran that play with Patrick Mahomes. They would have got that first down with Patrick Mahomes. Chad Henney comes in there after putting his kahunas on the table (laughs) on the third down run, getting 13 out of 14 possible yards for the first down, really like 13 and three quarters, if you think mm-hmm. about it. So he, he about had that first down as a Patrick Mahomes esque type of scramble for the first down, which was awesome. Love to see Chad Henney's emotion after that, but getting the sprint out snap and then finding Tyreek Hill, Tyreek Hill kind of shimmying his way to the first down and then sitting down, man, it, you saw that. And you're like, that's a Patrick Mahomes play. They did not alter their play calling at all for Chad Henney. No, and Travis Kelsey brought that up in the postgame presser. He said nothing changed. Like, we treated it like it was Patrick Mahomes back there making plays and slinging the rock. Like, Kelsey used all the adjectives, all the verbs, everything to describe a Chad Henney and Chad Henney-led offense that he would for Mahomes. Like, it was great, and I think that sometimes you can tell that players don't believe in each other. They don't believe in the starter, let alone the backup they believe in Chad Hetty. Like they think that dude can make plays. And he did like, I was on the fence because that interception was just bad. Like there was no excusing that, but then he had the third down run and he won me back over. I was like, Chad Henney, you can do whatever you want for the rest of the game. You won my respect because like, dude, that was one of the better plays by a chiefs quarterback. (sighs) Should I say all season? I mean, that was a really important mm. play, dude. It was like, a really in, important play. It was. Not in terms of like the play itself, but the importance of that play. And Henny like laying out and giving himself yeah. up for that. It was one of the best in terms of most fun to watch. I don't know in terms of like effective or any of that, but that was a lot of fun to watch. Well, the stakes that are associated with it, which yes. is, I was, I, I think it was is what huge. you're saying, were, were, were ginormous. You know, yeah. he... He doesn't like run that ball. They now have a fourth and 14. And they, then they've got to punt it. And then mm-hmm. you got to give Baker an opportunity to go down and drive, you know, for, for the win essentially. Um, so, so it was huge for him to collect even all those yards. They were going to go for it. I think no matter what, yeah. if they would have got to probably fourth and five, fourth and six, probably still would have went for it. Um, mm-hmm. Just because you kind of have to in that situation, I think, because I mean, yeah, you're on the other side of the 50. Really, I think they would have been on the other side of the 40 at that point. There's no point in punting at that point, in my opinion. Um, but we could have a conversation about punting later. But I, I think that this <laughs> Chad Henney play is going to live in Chiefs folklore history forever. Um, I think Chad Henney darting to this first down marker, not quite mm-hmm. getting the first down, but eventually, you know, setting himself up to get the first down is going to be historic chiefs. When we talk about this team in years past, we say, Hey, remember that one time Patrick Mahomes got hurt and Chad Henney ran for almost a first down and then set it up to seal the game with a first down pass to Tyree kill. Remember that? That was awesome. That's uh, we're living through history right now, because I believe, I think you're right that that probably, probably is one of the biggest plays. The only one I would say is in the Raiders game when uh, the second Raiders game, when they were in Vegas and Patrick Mahomes found Travis Kelsey for the game when he touched down, that would be the only one that immediately pops into my head. Probably if I think about it, you know, Chiefs didn't have a lot of high stakes games, I guess in the regular season, because regular season is regular season, right? Um, Mm -hmm. How high stakes is regular season? We can have a whole podcast about that, Uh, (laughs) but um, this is we're doing great with brainstorming podcast episodes. Are you writing these down? Because I forgot. I know someone out there is. Okay, that's good. <laughs> they better be because they need to send it to us because we've had some great ideas. But yeah, Chad Henney um, can't say enough about him. And you mentioned how much the team rallied around him. And it was evident. It was clear. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the guy did what he was asked to do. And like he did more than that. Like no one asked him to lay out and give his body up. Um, And I think, like, I don't remember the exact quote, but after the game, I think he said something along the lines of, like, they've sacrificed a lot for me, so I, like, had to do that for them or something like that. Like, Chad Henney was more than okay with it, and I think he also said that 
Mahomes has helped him more than he's helped Mahomes. Like Chad Henney is an awesome, like oh, yeah. just pure professional. Yeah. Um, couldn't have happened to a better guy too. He's very humble in the press game, yeah. press game pressers. That was one of my favorite yeah. quotes. When he said that quote, I was like, that's the ones that make like the hair stand up on the back of your neck. You that <laughs> yeah. Like, Whew, that gave me some goosebumps. Yeah.